Cancer is smart, right? It turns our own bodies against us, taking the very mechanism of cell division, which we need for our growth and repair, and forming unsightly tumours that eventually go on to destroy our organs. But the body is smart too. If your cell was unfortunate enough to get a mutation in a gene that controls the division of your cells, then that cell will start to divide rapidly. In fact, so fast that the division of the DNA just can't keep up. The DNA becomes so damaged that it will send out signals to the cell to slam on the emergency brakes. Those emergency brakes are called senescence. Senescent cells are big active cells, but they cannot divide. What they can do is make the cells around them senescent too. Tumour formation has stopped. It's like senescence is our body's natural weapon against the development of cancer. But clearly, with cancer as prevalent as it is, those emergency breaks can be too easily released. Can we create a therapy that can put the emergency breaks back on cancer? That's the question scientists are now asking. But in order to do this, we need to understand, right down to the molecular level, how senescence is being controlled. So to do this, I screened over a thousand proteins, removing them individually from the senescent cells and adding a dye to tell me if they started growing again. Now, if all I had was a basic microscope, that would be my entire PhD right there. Thankfully, we have an automated microscope that not can only take the pictures, it can count the cells too, and that in just a couple of days. So, in this way, I have discovered about 30 proteins that might be important for senescence. But I am particularly interested in two, two members of the toll-like receptor family. We already know that they play a big role in protecting us against bacterial and viral infections. But now I think they play a role in protecting us against cancer too. Now my job is to work out how they do this and how they communicate with other cells. And in this way, by discovering the regulators of senescence, we might be able to put the brakes back on cancer. <laughs>